in John chapter 12, verse 49. It says, for I have not spoken of myself, but the father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And notice he, he isn't saying uh, God is telling me what to speak. He gave me a commandment of what I should speak, right? So that was before he left heaven, okay? <clears throat> and I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Notice the tenses. What the Father has said, that's what I speak, okay? Now, let's look at that. Uh, that first word said, okay, it's a, now, this is just technical for the people that want to catch me in my words. I'm going to make sure I say them specifically, okay? Uh, that word said is a verb. It's in the third person. It's singular. According to the Greek, it's in the perfect, and it is active and indicative. Now, this is how you have to go through and look at each word to figure out what they're saying, which all that means this. It is something said in the past that is still in effect. Now, what that means is that, now get this. He did not say God is speaking to me every day. He said what God said, he told me, he gave me a commandment, and I am still doing that commandment because that commandment is still in effect. What command did he give him? What he quoted in Luke chapter 4 Actually, he was quoting from Isaiah 61. That was what he was commanded to say. Now watch this. Uh, the second one, because now notice, what the Father said, past tense, unto me, so I speak, present tense. Okay? Notice he did not say what the Father is saying. That'd be present tense. He said what the Father said. Now the second one, so I speak, that word is a verb. It's in the first person, singular, present, active, indicative. Now, what that means is this. He would be saying it this way. I am now speaking what was said to me in the past that is still in effect. That's what that word means. That, that, I mean, it's amazing. That one word meant all of that. I am speaking now what he said in the past because that what he said in the past is still in effect. Now, that's how you and I are supposed to see the Word of God. We should see it as something that was spoken in the past, but it is still in effect, and we now are to say what was said now and to do what we were commanded to do, right? Now, in John chapter 12, verse 44, we're back up a little bit. The literal Greek says it this way, The word which I spoke that will judge him on the last day, because as for myself not from myself as a source did I speak. But he who sent me, the Father himself, has given me a commandment. Now this is what we're picking up. Given me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know with a positive knowledge that his commandment is life eternal. Therefore, the things which I am speaking, just as the Father has, spo has past tense again, spoken to me in the past, and those words are still presently in effect, thus do I now and continually speak. Now, that's, that has a lot more weight than just the King James. But that's, if you were a Greek-speaking person from the first century, that's what you would have understood that sentence to say. 